Mahesh, OCI has been growing at an incredible pace. And from your perspective, what's driving this? And how do you see OCI differentiating itself, not just in the cloud, but in this era of AI? Look, fundamentally, um, AI at this standpoint is probably one of the technologies that is going to change sort of everything that we do. Mm -hmm. The market at large, in terms of what AI could influence, right, is pretty broad. If you take smartphone industry for that matter, it's just like, oh, you got a smartphone, you could like do a bunch of videos, you could do some bank transactions, right? Um, but AI, the opportunity is pretty large. So a lot of changes happening. Now in terms of OCI, um, I go back to the roots of what we built it for. Fundamentally, our core tenet was flexibility and choice, the most performing in highest performance infrastructure in the cloud, and great price economics that makes infrastructure accessible to every enterprise, every company out there. And so when we talk about differentiators, it's about the core pillars that we built, be it the first bare metal cloud infrastructure offering we did, the way we architected our security for off-box virtualization, the way we built our network and storage, focused on these key principles that all of our customers today are taking advantage of. And with AI, it's just exponentially more advantages. Okay, so well, let's talk about that a little bit more because, I mean, you couldn't have predicted the scale, the power requirements, the innovation, um, and, and so we're announcing a bunch of innovations this week that might seem in some ways incremental, but I imagine are things like dealing with the fact that the scale is so much bigger than we could have imagined back in 2016. Oh, no, look, if anybody came out there and said they knew this was the scale is going to be, they're lying uh, because nobody could predict it, right? But but for us, um, you know, you I talked a little bit about the network. And uh, as you guys, you know, probably heard about, uh, we announced Oracle Acceleron. Right. Um, it is fundamentally the foundational networking technologies that differentiates Oracle from rest of the clouds. And, and um, I talk about that as three key pillars and in innovation, decade of innovation of networking. Uh, it starts with the host accelerators, which is how we did the off-box virtualization concept. It is our network design, which is the fabrics, the network fabrics that we build where our cloud runs. And then third is the fabric accelerators. It's all of the software that Oracle brings to the table that ensures your packets move in the most performant way, the packets move with the most secure way, and the packets move in a way where you can actually get the best price economics. So you're not wasting any of those resources and Oracle passes that on. So, um, and as part of Cloud World, we're announcing five new capabilities or as part of Acceleron that fundamentally drives these value proposition and hands them back to customers, right? So I think that's, that's a big differentiator in what we do. And, um, and, and last year we sat and talked about Zetascale clusters. This year we're announcing Zetascale 10 clusters, 10 times more bigger, 10 times more performant, 10 times larger clusters. Um, and it is, it is literally the most biggest super AI super cluster in the world and the largest. You know, it's really incredible to hear you talk about those core pillars that, you know, really got us, you know, we're not only ready, but leading this moment where AI is changing everything. So can you give me an example of how OCI's infrastructure is helping a customer or an industry, mm -hmm. you know, change how they're, how they're operating with AI? That's right. I think the, um, as you guys know, um, NRI, is a large financial, you know, technology provider in all of Japan. And, uh, you know, we've been in partnership with them for over five years now. Um, and in all of their applications and the, in the Japanese stock exchange, Nikki runs on top of OCI at this point. But as AI started taking off, one of the things that we've been doing with them for the financial industry in Japan is to actually build and with partnership with NRI, help them build custom large language models that are very focused, one, on the language front, and two, for the financial industry. Now, what NRI is doing is not only 
adding the AI capabilities and agentic capabilities to their applications and what they're serving, they're also an alloy partner for us. And so they're taking OCI with sort of that um, financial LLM, if you will, for just custom made for Japan. And they're taking it to market to all of the different banks that actually now have access to a very specific, you know, custom pre-built model that's just running on OCI today. We talked to you uh, along the way, as you've worn a lot of different hats, running a developer team to your role in security for OCI to the infrastructure, and now this humongous AI data center build out. What are you most proud of and what excites you the most about the next chapter for Oracle Cloud? Look, I think um, the thing that I'm proud of is that, um, you know, we've carried the Oracle DNA forward consistently with our success. And, you know, one thing that I tell people, and, and it's true core to the heart, is that we want our customers to have the spotlight, mm -hmm. right? For us, it's more about we power the infrastructure, we power the database, we power their back office applications, we power industry vertical applications, we power a lot of what, um, you know, most enterprise Fortune 500 companies do. You know, you go to a, uh, you know, Starbucks and you do a point of sale application, you're probably using Oracle. You're, you're checking into your flight, you're probably using Oracle, right? So getting we're, an so getting an Uber, you're using Oracle, right? So from, from our, my standpoint, I think the DNA, we've carried that forward in respect to our success. You know, we put the spotlight on our customers. And second, I think we have a tremendous responsibility. Right? When you think about what's actually happening in AI and the market at large, right? there is an explosive new market that is being built as we speak. And for me as a leader um, and, and for Oracle, we have a tremendous responsibility stepping in to serve our customers mm -hmm. in this new market, the trust that they place on us. And so a lot of what we do is principled around the key things. One, customers who run their applications on our cloud, get the best experience, the best performance, the price economics remains the same. Two, um, we scale for them, right? We want to be uh, ensuring that no matter their business growth, right? If Uber's actually growing, we want to make sure we are on the back end powering their growth. Right. Second, so we got to scale. Uh, and third, um, also innovate so they can actually crack new markets, new businesses. So when I talk to my organization or I think about, um, you know, the infrastructure business, um, and it's fundamentally focused on availability, reliability, scaling and powering our customers. So we're on the back, you know, back, backside. And third, really innovating and making sure that they can leapfrog in the world of AI. Great. Mahesh, thank you so much for joining us. Anytime, anytime. Fantastic meeting you guys. Thank you. All right. Thank you.